This is a high-level tour of some of the workspaces in STIG Manager. Let's start by looking at the workspace for evaluating a STIG on a single asset. That's what this workspace looks like. We have the checklist available to us. This is the Mozilla Firefox STIG. Uh, the green highlighted rules are those that have SCAP content available. As I select rules, the details of the rule is shown in the middle panel. And I can perform my evaluation here on the right. I can also look at how other assets in the collection have been evaluated. Uh, if I wanted to, I could use one of those other assessments. Uh, maybe I like the comment, uh, which in this case is a silly, uh, automatically uh, you know, robot-generated sentence. I could take that and drag and drop it onto my review uh, panel and go ahead with that. I could modify the um, commentary to suit my situation and then I save it off. Uh, so very high level view of the interface for evaluating a single stig on a single asset. Alternatively, there's an interface for evaluating a single stig on multiple assets and that's this workspace. We see a very similar checklist. Uh, this time, though, we're presented with information about the evaluations, what the statistics are, how many are open, how many are not, not a finding. Uh, and we're able to look at all the assets in the collection, their reviews, their result comments, uh, essentially in one view. And this is editable, so we could uh, change an NA to, say, an NF, and then change the, change the comment, which I'm having trouble doing. New comment. And in this case, the work gets saved uh, immediately. This is also the interface where uh, folks who are responsible for approving or rejecting work would be able to engage and either re, uh, reject, reject a review or approve the review. So again, very high level overviews, but those are two interfaces for working with STIG uh, uh, evaluations. Once you've begun the STIG evaluation process, it's helpful to keep track of the status of that, how, how it's going. Uh, so the status workspace lets us do that. We can take a look at uh, for each asset, uh, for each STIG attached to those assets, how we're doing in terms of what's checked, what's not checked, um, whether the work's been saved or submitted, and whether we have findings and what their severity is. We can roll that up if we want to look at higher uh, you know, a, a collapsed version. We could also order this, uh, group this information rather by STIG uh, and roll that up as well. So we could look at say our Firefox STIG and see how we're doing on each of the assets in our collection, where the work is outstanding and so forth. Also very uh, helpful to know what our findings are. Uh, and the findings uh, workspace lets us do that. We can aggregate our findings by group or by rule. Uh, both of which are, I guess, acceptable in POA and M's, reduce the work down to just one STIG or all of them. As we select findings, we can see the details, which assets the finding is on, and generate POAM output that will represent uh, the start of a POAM that can be submitted to EMAS. And that would look like this. Now, finally, let's take a look at the workspace for working with collections. Uh, I can create a new collection, which I'll call demo. And from this interface, I can start adding assets. I could create an asset here uh, and then assign it to a STIG or, or attach it to a STIG. But sometimes what's a little easier is if I have existing CKL files, uh, I can go ahead and bring those into my new collection. Uh, and we can bring in a whole directory full. And what this will do is scaffold my collection from that information. So it's identified these assets in those files. These stigs are attached to those assets. And these are the results. If I go ahead and hit add, then I'll end up with a collection that's been populated. There we are, we finished. 
a collection that's been populated with these assets, with these stigs. And if I go visit the newly created collection, I'll find that I have my results imported. I keep picking that stig. Let's go to a red hat stig. Um, so that's a quick way for stig manager to get integrated with existing processes because we can bring in the existing uh, work. Uh, back to the management workspace for a collection, this is also where we would add uh, grants or, or to users and allow users into our collection. So user five could be granted anything from the most restricted level where we have to pick individual stigs and assets for that user to some of these higher levels, you know, full access, uh, the ability to manage the collection and then even ownership of the collection. Let's make this user have a restricted access. For restricted users, I can then decide what exactly they have access to. So if I wanted, say, this entire asset to be accessible to that user, I can go off and do that. Now, when that user logs into Stig Manager and they see the demo collection, that's all that they'll see, right? They're only granted access to what I just chose. So that was very high level, very quick, uh, but uh, an introduction to some of the workspaces in Stig Manager. Uh, we'll pause the presentation here, see if there's any questions and a need to do any uh, in-depth live work.